Hey everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today I'm going to be getting ready for Spilt Milk. So if you guys didn't know, Spilt Milk is this festival in Canberra, um, which I'm going to be going to this weekend. It's Thursday today and then tomorrow I drive to Canberra and then we stay the night and then Saturday is the festival and then we stay Saturday night and drive home Sunday morning. So this vlog is just going to be me getting prepared for the festival. So the first thing I'm going to do to get prepared is I need to go to the shops to grab a few last minute things. I'll quickly show you guys like my outfit kind of idea. Okay, so I got this top which I'm in love with. It's from Tiger Mist. It's part of the um, Sofido for Tiger, Tiger Mist edit, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it's just like this like mesh little bikini kind of top underneath this like top with these like cutouts if you guys can see if it is cool enough i want to wear these pants which i ordered from princess polly they're kind of like some parachute pants i actually have a photo of me wearing the outfit it's right here um so i'm thinking this outfit could be kind of cute but i just i just know that it's probably going to be too hot to wear these pants um i also went and got like this bum bag from cotton on it's just like one of those popular cinnamon dupes so i'm gonna go to the shop today i need to find a mini skirt well i need to try find a mini skirt i do have this skirt which is my friend's um it's just this jagger and stone little one it's really pretty but it is like kind of short and rides up when i walk a fair bit so i feel like i'll be uncomfortable trying to hold it down the whole day um so i did want to try find a different skirt just in case but then like worst case scenario i can wear that skirt um i also wanted to find a little bit of a dangly belly piercing because i'm gonna be wearing like a low waist pants or skirt and i want you to see like my belly piercing be cute for his little dangly um what else did i need to get i need to get my glasses adjusted anyway so mum and i are gonna pop to the shops now um hopefully i find something we'll see so Yes, so let's go do that. That's the first step to getting ready for spilt milk. Okay, we're back home from a hopefully successful shopping trip. Actually, it was somewhat not successful. I couldn't find a belly piercing. Anyways, so yeah, that was not very successful. I did get my glasses fixed. They were just um wonky, so I went and got that adjusted so this is them now these are my new glasses by the way guys also guys i finished my set three after over a year it's finally done i did it um okay back on track so i actually bought both of the skirts and i tried on in the shops because i didn't know which one would go best with the top with the black the one that i like better is the pink one just because i just like the way it looks better but i don't know i think that the green might look better with the black i'm going back to the shops literally in like 30 minutes to get my nails done with my friends. And so I can just go and return whichever one doesn't work. But I'm gonna quickly try it on with the top and see which looks best. I may be returning the both because this just doesn't look very good, does it? Oh, great lighting. It looks okay, but it just doesn't really work, does it? See, this skirt looks so pretty, but it just doesn't look good with the top. Luna, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? This skirt just looks like it's meant to be. Like it actually works. I'm going to return both of those skirts. Because it just doesn't work. I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I don't know what to do because this skirt is way too short. I take one step and my bum is out. It is time to fake tan. So I'm just getting ready to do it. So I need to take off all my jewelry that will, you know, be in the way. I also, I'm going to like slick back my hair so I don't get any fake tan in my hair. Um, I also, I cannot reach my back. I'm just not talented like that. So I need my mum to be home so that she can turn my back for me. Um, but she's not home right now and I don't know where she is. I think she's walking the dogs. But I might just have to start and try to do it by myself. And then she's going to have... What is going on here? This is why I don't get acrylic nails because I can't do shit all. Oh, my nose is so runny, guys. I, <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night and I was blowing my nose so much. And so now I'm like, can't get this fucking bracelet off. I do have a discount code for you guys if you want to grab some stuff from Baddest Bud. Um, if you use my discount code Lily Rose, you'll get 15% off. So yeah, definitely use that. Um, okay, I'm going to put my hair in just a high bun. I was meant to go for a walk this morning with my friends and I slept through my alarm, so that's a bit annoying. Okay, you guys, let's go start this fake tan because I'm ready. Before I fake tan, I like to just grab some moisturizer and moisturize with my elbows. And like, just areas that get dry just because sometimes that can like get patchy if I don't do this. 
Yeah, I do my elbows, my knees, and my ankles. I think that's kind of just what I do. I also shaved and exfoliated yesterday or the day before. So I am ready for this tan. Fake tan I'm using is Bad Squad, as always, my all time favorite tan. I refuse to use any other, well, my voice, I refuse to use any other tan. So yeah, it says 30 minutes medium, one hour dark, two hours ultra dark. So if I leave it on for one hour to one and an hour and a half, it'll still be dark. So perfect. That is one thing I love about this tan is just how you can leave it on for such a short amount of time. And the other thing is it doesn't smell. Like I've used like lots of other tans before and they stink. Like you'll wash it off and you'll just smell literally until the, the fake tan is completely off your body. Whereas with Bad Spot, I don't find it smells. So, love that. Got a nice fresh mitt here. There's nothing better than a good old fresh mitt. So I just apply it all over my body in circular motions, like so. Okay, my tan is all applied. And now I'm gonna do my face tan. And for my face tan, I'll be using the Baddest Bod Tanning Glow Drops. You just add these to your moisturizer and rub it into your face and then it'll give you a tan on your face. Just got some moisturizer in my hand and then you just add a few drops of the little stuff into here. And then you just wash your hands, but I'm too lazy to get up. So I'm just gonna grab makeup remover wipe. All right, washed off the fake tan. It looks amazing. Um, I left it on for an hour and a half. I don't even think it was like a full hour and a half. And it is really amazing. Like it, I you can't tell because there's like nowhere in my body to compare it to because it's all tanned. But I guess you can see those little tan lines. Um, but it is really good. The things that I absolutely love about this fake tan is it just is not streaky at all. Like, I find it really hard to get patchy and streaky and stuff with this. Like, I applied it pretty quick, pretty rough, you know. And there's just no, no patches, no streaks. It looks really natural as well. I find that, like, some fake tans have, like, a really... Sorry about the dog barking. But some fake tans have a really, like, orangey or greeny undertone. Whereas this one's just, like, bronzed. If you guys wanted to use my discount code, it's just Lily Rose for 15% off. Bandspot also offers afterpay for all Australian customers, and they also offer worldwide express shipping. So I am obsessed. You guys, a link to Bandspot will be in the description below. Please go check it out if you love how this fake tent looks. All right, let's get on to the rest of the video of me getting ready for spilt milk. It is the night before I leave for spilt milk, and I have just tried on my outfit. I went to the shops and I returned those two skirts and I got this one instead, which looks really nice. But I had this as a dress and it was just like a little off the shoulder mini dress, but it didn't fit me. So I cut it into a skirt and then my mum has hemmed, hemmed the top of it and it looks really good with this top, I think, personally. So I'm going to wear this skirt, this top, then I got these sunnies from Supreme. I just thought they were good sunnies for you know a festival vibes and then for shoes i'm either gonna wear these boots that i have all these converse just high top converse i'll probably just decide on the day but i probably will end up wearing the boots um but i just wanted to bring the converse just in case i decide that it looks better with the converse or not this top is from tiger mist if you guys are wondering this skirt was a dress from white fox but we made it into a skirt and then this bum bag is just from cotton on um and then my shoes i got these boots from glue um, and then my Sunnies and Supre. And my nails. I got my nails done. I forgot to show you guys. This is them. They are, like, just some French tips with a, like, clear chrome on top. So, in, like, certain lights, they look, like, all holographic and stuff. Um, it's really cool. And then tomorrow I'm going to be fake tanning. You guys would have already seen that footage, though, because I wanted to insert it earlier on in the vlog. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow when I get the rest of my stuff that I need to do done and I'll take you guys along. It is the day that I drive to Canberra now. I am going to be packing up all of my makeup and stuff. I have like my outfit. I think I have everything that I need for my outfit. 
I just need to pretty much pack and everything. Um, I'm currently soaking in my fake tan. You guys would have already seen the footage of me fake tanning, but it's kind of confusing, but I'm soaking in it right now. So yeah, now I need to like pack all my makeup. Um, I don't know why, but I really find it like difficult trying to remember like what makeup I need to take. Like what makeup do I even like use? Like, I hate, this is why I hate getting ready at other people's houses and stuff. Like, if we're, like, having prees or whatever, I'm like, come on. Because I'm like, I don't want to get to their house, get ready at their house, and then be like, like, half my makeup I don't have. So, okay, let's try go through my makeup routine. She is very full. Let's, oh, the brushes are just falling out everywhere. If you guys are wondering, this little makeup bag is from Kmart. That's good. Got to pack that as well. Time to pack hair stuff. Don't know what hairstyle I'm doing yet, but I'm just gonna pack quite a few hair brushes. Cause if I do a slip back, which might end up happening, I probably won't because I'm washing my hair and I kind of, I always do a slip back look. So I'm like, Lily, don't do a slip back look, but there is still a small chance I'll do a slip back because I'm indecisive. Um, anyways, so I'll pack my slick back brushes just in case. So that is this brush, this brush, this brush is just for when I just like to brush my hair. Um, what else? Makeup removal wax. Hair gel. I need to put this hand sanitizer in my bag for the um, festival. This is my face moisturizer already packed in a travel thingy. So I'll take this. Some dry shampoo because you never know. I might pack a little bit of... Um, all pour in case my nose gets dry. I've got everything laid out, ready to put into my bag. So this is my makeup bag. And then I got my toiletries. Got some little extra hair bits and bobs. Um, my razor. Just some pink perfume thingy because I didn't want to take a glass bottle. These sunnies. I also have other ones. They're in here. As well as like my portable charger. Um, some lip gloss and all that stuff. I got my charger. My portable charger. Charger. <laughs> Socks. This is what I'm going to wear in the car. I got an outfit for Sunday when we come home. Just some bras, pajamas, a bikini, underwear, and this is my options for tomorrow. And then I've got all of my medication in here. And then I've got my two shoes options. I'll probably just wear like slides or something today. And then my bag that I've got to put everything in. Okay, you guys, I am now showered. I have rinsed off my fake tan, washed my hair, packed my bags. I am ready to go. So, mum is going to drive me over to my boyfriend's house and then we are going to drive to Canberra, stay the night, and then we'll be partying all day tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me getting ready. Please like and subscribe if you did enjoy. And I guess I'll just see you guys in my next video. Bye!